From the streets of Brooklyn into the magical land of Manhattan Island. One of my favorite local designers, Esteban Vargas. It's like Bo Angora and Goat. It Tell breathes, me. it's easy. I mean, it's like 70 degrees out here and I don't feel overwhelmed. John, yeah. I stopped you because I saw the shirt, but I couldn't see what it says underneath. What is it? What does that mean? That's where we're headed. Uh, there's a little bit of comfort in there, isn't there? Yeah, it's, it's, it can be pretty liberating if you want it to be. Typically make your own earrings? Um, Just these. I want to start making clothes. What kind of clothes? Specifically, probably latex. When you get shoes like this, do you have to buy yes. two pairs? I did buy two pairs because I've lost my mind. <laughs> Zion, you're what makes New York amazing. Justin, so nice to meet you. Nice you stuck out from a mile away, <laughs> looking so cool with this very unique hat. Yeah, when we start up here, it's kind of like bird's nest vibes. But yeah, it's all like um like loose threads sewn right. together to make the to make the hat. Yeah. And this is a two of two, you told me. Yeah, there's only two of them. I bought one. Cool. Um, working on trying to get them produced, so nice. they'll be more available. Tell me about your jacket and your pants. Yeah, so the jacket and pants are actually both by me. Uh, my brand's name is David and Goliath. So these were custom made pants. Yeah, yeah. So I had these made. These are all made in LA. Yeah. Uh, oh, and you got the David and Goliath on. Yeah. Yo. Dangerous is a man with God on his side and a stone in his hand. What does that mean to you? Yeah, so David and Goliath is a biblical reference. So like David had a bunch of stones and that's what he used to kill his Goliath. And I think that we're all battling stuff emotionally, mentally, physically every day. So this is my testament to that, taking the broken and making it restored. Dig the whole vine. All right, Justin, Thanks, I'll check you later, man. I mean, I love the hat, and I saw this piece up top. Can you tell me about this? Did you create yeah, this? This fab show, I mean, when the pandemic happened, I, you know, made my own mask. Yo, look so, at this. So if you heard of Batman, you heard of Spider-Man, you heard of Superman, but I'm Crab Man. <laughs> Michael Cuomo. Yeah. Your name is Michael Cuomo, you told yeah, me? Yeah, Michael Cuomo, but I'm not related to the governor. I'm the governor of my spirit. He Lo who governs his spirit is greater than he who conquers the city. Yo. Yeah. Wise words from Michael Cuomo. You an artist? Yeah. Okay, where can I find uh, your stuff? Michael Cuomo Art on Instagram. Okay. And that's my website and all that good stuff. All right, Michael, thank you, thank you so you, much. Brother. Rhiannon. Yeah. What an interesting name. Yeah, it's a Fleetwood where... Mac song. It's a what? A Fleetwood Mac song. Is that what you were named after? Yeah. Can you tell me about what you're wearing here? Would you consider this maximalism? It's just my swag, you know, it's just very happy. I love yellow. So I match my tights to the bag and then my friend gifted me this Eon Plugs. Where do you go getting dressed like this? I'm just chilling. I just enjoy, have some coffee, read my book. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, like Hello Kitty Bunny. It's so cute. I love going to baseball games. My friend Saki did my nails. Yeah, she's amazing. She's down on Eldridge Street. Oh, shout out to Saki. Her. She's the best. You don't strike me as somebody that would have a lot of tattoos. I and then as you get <laughs> closer, you notice them and yeah. they really suit you. Tell me about it. <laughs> Um, my friend did it, and I just love the way it's fading and it ages. I get to look at it every day. What it, does it mean to you? It reminds me every day I'm blessed. How long you been down here for? Like six, seven years. You fit right in. Thank you. So my mom would always dare, you know, I, I dare you, and it is a part of my mom that just pops out. So you named this after your mom? Yeah. Most of my styles were inspired, like it was inspired by her. Your stepmom? My stepmom. She was a stylish woman. She passed it down to me. My mom had one from Michigan. I used to steal it from her all the time. My mom has been super supportive. She's my number one biggest fan and I love her for it. Shout out to moms. Shout out to mom, bro. My mom had a lot of clothes. So whenever I go home, I go through my closet and I just find things she's had from the 90s. So these curls actually came from my mom. I kind of just go through my mom's closet all the time. So it came from her. My biggest support is my mom. 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 Ever since I was a little kid and I was the only guy straightening his hair in middle school, every day she'd wake up with me and uh, straighten my hair with me and be like, all right, son, if this is what you want to do, Yo. have fun with it. Just rolled up on the guy here, Kooch. Oh, I don't. You got the Nike on here, you got the Adidas, you're basically exercising out here. Yeah, I mean, athletic way just to feel good about myself. Explain to me I... what it is that you do. I eat sandwiches and pizza on camera. Kooch, I'm putting you in the hot seat. Oh, Mets or Yankees? I'm a New York guy, so both. Safe. Big question here. Billy Joel, Bruce Springsteen. Billy Joel. Fake meat or real meat? I never even had fake meat. I don't even know what the f*** that is. De Niro or Pacino? Pacino. Goodfellas or Bronx Tale? Goodfellas. Goodfellas or Godfather? Godfather.
Chantal is wearing something that I've never seen before. Chantal, can you just tell me before I see it, what is it? They're Nike Comme des Garçons heels. Nike heels? heels? Did you call them super heels? Sneaker heels. Sneaker heels. Yo. <laughs> You're rocking it. You look awesome. Thank, Thank you very much.